Hey guys, welcome to Artificial Intelligence Magazine. My name is Vicky and today we are talking about vending machine effect and we will use that to explain how some of the jobs we have will disappear as artificial intelligence will grow and automation will increase. Well, today topic is short and we will cover it as quickly as we can because there is really no need to stretch simple things. Okay, as you all know, as you all know, uh, what a um, vending machine is and what is its function. It has one of the simplest function, and yet vending machines aren't all that common in developing countries. Meaning to say, look, technology always grows faster at its hub and slower at the ends that are farther away. So any effect that technology is going to cost will see more significant effect in developed countries than in developing countries. Jobs are already a great concern and as artificial intelligence systems are advancing, so is their usage. And of course, AI will be used where it is a better fit and is more useful compared to manual level, whether physical or mental. We should however keep in mind that new job opportunities are being created as well. Now, getting back to the vending machine effect. For how long are we going to have ticket sellers at the ticket shop? A simple exchange point in return for tickets, right? Whether those tickets are for cinema, musical concerts, theater, park, circus, or anything similar. So there are so many jobs that, so many jobs like that. Uh, that machines can efficiently replace today, I mean even today. These jobs exist because, of course because we have job problems and, but primarily because technology has not reached everywhere and it's not, it's, uh, it's not been fully implemented. We already prefer ATM instead of going to banks, right, uh, but cash counters still exist, right. Likewise, there are so many instances where counting, giving and taking is involved and with no apparent use of creativity. In fact, these are the places where public clashes often take place. Public giving is always a difficult task, it takes patience. But keep in mind that a vending machine scenario is just a small representation of automation, artificial intelligence or simply machines are eventually going to be able to do more complex stuff. And trust me, if one day engineers become determined to pull it off, the fast food will be made by robotic hands and you will be paying money through your mobile or cash card, ordering to a voice box before waiting a few minutes for your favorite burger to pop up at the AI counter. Just like a venting machine. My take here is that this is something that's eventually going to happen. Those food chain companies would prefer it because they'll have to. And uh, not just uh, from a business point of view, but ethical too. Because it's simple. We can't we can't stop it. And while we might feel ourselves at loss, I think there's a bright side too. Now here, let me ask you a question. Have you ever seen those fiber gigs where they charge you like five dollars just to remove the background of a photo? It's a simple gig and it tells a lot. But how long are these jobs going to last? But if your gig sells, that's all that really matters. Someday and not too far away. There's going to be an online website where you could just upload your photo and have the background removed for you by an intelligent server-side program and, and all that free of charge. I deeply believe that technological growth has now become a part of our natural growth. Technology is naturally growing with us because we are naturally depending on it and for natural reasons. Comfort accessibility, usability, 
or something I call smart phonability, which is just an edgy term to imply some sort of fast advancement. Smart phonability of a technology, I say, is speed of growth of a technology driven by its uh, public demand because that's uh, how smartphone really grew so fast. Now, getting back to technology being a natural part of our growth, I think nature intended for us to grow in this way. Artificial intelligence is like a push of nature so we can accelerate and leave everyday tasks that involve more labor and less creativity to automated systems so we can focus on more creative jobs and find our true potential as social, as social animals, as uh, creatures of art and as emotional prodigy. Because this is true, compared to all other species, the most stupid human being is also an emotional genius. That's true. That's a character. Uh, our emotions are a character, a trait that might one day even make the machines envious. And here's the, here's the good part. And though it might make you feel happy, I also believe that the best thing for us is actually the other way. If we created machines that are emotionally more alert than us, I think heaven will be earth. But that's just me uh, being positive. But if you but if you think about it, you'll you will get the idea. So all right, guys, that's it for today. I hope you liked the discussion. Just keep in mind uh, the topic today was uh, vending machine effect. We shed some light on it. Of course, that's not a technical term, but uh, but when you don't have a particular term to explain something, you just you know improvise. So catch you guys later.